<sighs> Akuna Matata. All in your mind. <laughs> it's a wrap, bro. The feds that came with the Rico. What did I tell y'all besides the year of the snitch? The year of the Rico still continued. Eight members of Bronx gangs, Sev side and third side, charged with murder and Rico charges, which include popular New York rapper k -Fi. He is still facing state charges of another murder that has him locked up. The mandatory minimum, if he doesn't beat those charges or snitch, is life in prison. In that Tupac movie, remember when his mom say they giving you devices to basically kill yourself? Yeah, that's just what happened. So basically what it is is this is another murder on top of that. <laughs> Boy, yeah, they said he caught two bodies now. And I'm going to be honest with you. It won't matter if he decides to thug it out, which he more than likely will, because it's going to look good for his image and has some money for his commissary and everything like that. Yeah, all right, cool. The problem with all this stuff is they let y'all do this. I, I, y'all really, a lot of y'all don't understand this, bro. And you can talk to a lot of cats from a lot of different places. I don't care. Wherever they got gang infested places, there are multiple people serving life. Multiple. It's rare that you're able to get out here, catch a body, and then thrive and stuff like that. There are instances, of course. But for the most part, about, I say, 85% of the murders that get committed from gang stuff, they always get caught. They always get saw. Look at YSL Woody. Woody Woodpecker couldn't stop telling. Stuff like that, bro. The first one that they said he did for the New York State charges, bro, that's all on camera. There is no self-defense law in no goddamn New York. New York is so stupid with their gun laws and stuff, you can't even own a bulletproof vest. A defense device. And California dumbasses is trying to ride the same clout wave too and trying to get rid of it in California. This is why I don't understand. Like, if you don't have a felony and you're black, why are you in places like the whole West Coast from Washington, Oregon to California? Why would you be on the East Coast from all the way up past Virginia? Y'all can't own no straps. Y'all can't do nothing. So I look at places like this and I wonder, do y'all get it? Y'all was so convinced about a <laughs> disease and vaccines and PPP scams and all that. These cats are still smirking stuff out here. See, if I look like I got it all, somebody with nothing want to come take it all. And typically they bring a friend or two. So now I'm gone and maybe three other people, four lives just got ruined. And this is the game that they play and the unfortunate part is, these dumbasses are too slow to realize, bruh, you never had a chance to begin with. All you were, were were a goddamn piece on a chessboard. You weren't a knight, you was a goddamn pawn the whole entire time. See, this right here is going to lead to more and more. I said, hey, this still going to be continued Ricos. But now, on top of that, somebody definitely snitched on them cats. To go this long and then you got eight people, which means you got text messages, which means a whole bunch of stuff. And you don't get access to that if you don't know where to look at. Now, typically, yeah, they're going to want your phone. Of course. But what tipped them off to the phone in the first place? They have to go by a grand jury and then they have to literally convince the grand jury to let them do every single thing because you still have rights. But right now. It looked bad for a little buddy. But let me know y'all thoughts on this one. We uh, just hit 130K. So help us out, help us out. We on our way to 200K, man. Join the visionaries today. And I appreciate you all, man. I'll catch y'all in the next one. I know Sid and Nash is a punk. I already got the scoop on that nigga. Two years ago. I know. <laughs> yeah. Come on, man. King AK-47 is another one. Seti Nash. Them dudes jumped me on the internet.